Hi guys, I'm Sing Si and <laughs> finally I'm, I'm in white again. This time I oh, I got the news that I invited for tea eh, with uh, SMS Chiong Tan. But uh, be really, how come we <laughs> for tea at the pot one? Don't know, maybe it's a new style. Hi, hello, hey, Sing Si, how are you? Yeah, well, so, today we are not having tea. Oh, And today we are not at the pot. Huh? Today we are here to learn more about the maritime sector. Then maybe after the session, we can go have a beer. Wow, steady, go a beer already. What? Huh? Sorry, you are saying maritime industry. What is it? Well, maritime industry, together with the aviation industry, these are like two halves of our lungs. They huh? connect us to the world, help us to breathe. Maritime okay. industry, a lot of the work is about how you transport goods in and out of Singapore. Okay. Right? So like mm -hmm. food, essential supplies, raw materials, construction materials. Mm. So during COVID, nah, this is yeah. very important. Yeah, yeah. Right? The maritime industry mm. is full of innovative companies and innovative people. Mm. That's why today we are at Pier 71. Okay. It's a place where there are a lot of maritime startups. Sorry. So we are in a port. No, no, no. Today we are at Pier 71. Come, I'll show you. Pierce 71 is a pot, man. Hi, Keith. Hi. Welcome. Well, today I brought a friend, Sin Chi. Hello. Is it you yeah. also want to take the rice bowl? Uh, no. He I wants to know more about maritime technology startups. So our company, we provide inspection services in confined spaces and on board of vessels, mm. seafaring vessel. Right. So what we do, we do the inspection using drones that we built on our own. As you know, most of the drones that you buy off the shelf will need GPS to fly safely. We'll need magnetic compass information to fly. But uh, in the environment that we operate in, we don't have such data. So you, you started off not really being in the maritime sector, right? We started off actually focusing on construction sites. Yeah. Okay, so um, in the beginning, because we are familiar with uh, the dangers of confined space and working at heights in the construction sector, uh, we, we have the know-how of building aerial robots. Uh, we thought we could do better. If we can fly without using GPS, there's a lot more spaces that we can go to, mm -hmm. like the cargo hold on board vessels. Yes. So that's when we started to move into maritime as well. So... Example, this one here. Wow, quite big. Uh. <laughs> How much? Uh? This one is not for sale at the moment. <laughs> it's part of our services. This is our tool. Right. So um, this drone, besides doing visual inspection, it can measure thickness. So if you imagine the structure of a vessel mm. or a storage tank, it can measure what is the remaining thickness and then we can make a call whether that structure has to be reinforced mm or replace with our in-house builds, we can actually fly up to an hour non-stop. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How much? <laughs> I, can't, I can't afford it. Hey, Minister. Hmm. How come so many young people? Hmm. How like my age? Hmm. So here is a young person. His name is Jake. Hi. Hi. Hello, Jake. Why, why did you join uh, Performance Rotors? Right. Most other companies are just interested in the payload on the drone. Can you put this on the drone? Can you put that on the drone? Mm. But in Performance Roto, we operate the drones in GPS denied environment, and that itself is a challenge that I like. What you say is very technical. I just yeah. want to know pays well. Was that? It pays well. It pays reasonably well. What do you yes. mean? You're always asking about money. Oh, uh, come on. Like, yeah, yeah, I just want to know. Yeah, I want to good good enough. be your colleague. Good enough. Mm. I believe for myself, it's more of a job satisfaction. Mm. Uh, I mean, it is really difficult to find jobs that you are very interested in and at the same time, challenge your creativity and at the end of the day, when all of these are achieved, you get the satisfaction of saying, hey, my work is uh, well uh, received and I'm happy. Yeah. That's very good. Very PC. Eh? That's why very PC. Keith hired him <laughs> and not you. Uh, let, me, let me ask Keith how much he did. Minister, is there a problem attracting young people to the industry? I mean, it's not like e-commerce, you know? Quite cool, you know. Well, maritime sector is cool, right? We got a lot of very cool jobs as well. You know, for example, we have cold chain, right? That's how we bring in our food, our essential medical supplies. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I'll show you one place. Yeah, we go and have a look. Okay. Where I can show you some of the cool innovation. Is it gonna be as cool as your jokes? Okay, this is a very 
cool and a bit cold, uh, this place. Oh. Can we continue with conversation mm. about uh, attracting younger people in the industry? Is yeah. it hard? A lot of people think of maritime, they think of ships, yes. they think of seafaring. Yes. Uh, and that's important, but maritime is more than seafaring. It's also a lot of good shore-based jobs. And I think increasingly, there will be a focus also on environmental sustainability. Sustainability? How so? Come, let me show you. Okay. This part of the Innovation Centre is about environmental sustainability, green ports, green shipping. Mm. And this is important because we want to reduce carbon emissions, we want to reduce pollution. And you know, for ports, for example, instead of uh, using normal trucks to transport containers, mm. uh, PSA is going to move towards using automated guided vehicles. Automated. Run on it, yes, run on electricity. Wow, okay. Key cranes also, they're going to have fully automated electric key cranes to be able to move the containers. So PSA's uh, vision is that it wants to become a carbon neutral port by 2050. So one of the things that Singapore is doing to support this is to use liquefied natural gas, LNG. It emits 20% less carbon and has zero sulfur. It sounds quite, quite cool. Uh. I mean, just wondering, you know, I'm still quite young. <laughs> Whether I can have a mixed career switch. Well, I, I think mean, I don't have that kind of background though. It doesn't matter. Right. Actually, you know, we hire people with the right passion mm -hmm. and the right attitude um, and we will train them for the skills. Okay. This is an inclusive sector. We want to make sure that there are different groups of people who can join us at different parts of their career. So you too can play an important role. Really? Yes. I can play an important role? Of course. Does that mean? Must have the right passion. Is it I can finally have a seat in Parliament? You well, know, the speaker has been telling me so long but never to get back to me. The one for voters to decide. Okay. Wow, after so long, I'm finally at the port. Nice, nice view, sir. Thanks for sharing with me the, so much about the industry. It's quite cool uh, if I ever wanted to leave the mothership to another ship, then I think this is uh, we can continue this relationship. Uh. <laughs> Just one request, can I have a, mm, a chairmanship or something? Well, since here I don't have a chairmanship to offer you, yeah. but I do have a model ship that I can present to mothership. Okay, but... This is a MPA petrol vessel, the newest generation. Right. It's designed by the Singapore SME called Lita Ocean. Okay. So when we grow our sector, one of the things we want to do is to give our SMEs the opportunities to demonstrate their capabilities, build a track record, and they can then take this and go overseas. Uh, I mean, that's cool and all, but uh, I think mothership is like a, like I said, airship. Uh. Well, um, whether it's an airship or whether it's an ocean-going ship, okay. the most important thing is this. The ship is able to take you to where you want to go, mm. help you to explore new lands, help you to explore uncharted waters, uncharted territories. Okay. Uh, then I think it's a good ship. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good ship if I can sell it. <laughs> if it helps with the relationship, then I'll take it. Okay. <laughs>